The Call of the Wild. A book that I read a while ago for school, and I am making a school project. And I decided to make a YouTube about what happened in the Call of the Wild. Now, before I start, listen to this. I don't, I can't get everything in the Call of the Wild building. That's in the Call of the Wild in the past. It's literally called Totally Accurate. I have to make the Totally Accurate version. But, I did the best I could. I spent like 30 minutes just around working to get it done. So now I'm gonna do it. Let's start. Also, one last note. I'm not, probably not gonna get everything right. So, no. We start with if the dog Buck and his owner Judge Miller they're together and their family one time when and Buck was out just on his own he was just in there and another guy Wanted to have it, that dog. Oh, yeah. And you're gonna see me placing down things. I'm not saying that. Oh. The guy wanted it to get fucked. So, I'm redoing that because. Because then you won't mess up. Grab the around the neck of the dog's butt. So, he, so for a lot of money, he did it. Okay, Buck wins it. Redo. Let's just say they cast him. Here, whip him. Whip. <laughs> See, they got him. They captured him. The blue one. He was in a car and being punished. And mistreated a lot. He finally let go, and he was mad. So he went and out and decided that he wanted to get his revenge. But a man in a red sweater smacked him with a club. And he underestimated the power of the club. And got it on. After that, he was off in the cold. With other dogs. He found himself with if many other dogs, huskies, and they were all oh, bossed around by Francis, and they were punished by him if they didn't and not do what he wanted. And if they were a threat. He could easily just shoot him and kill him. They saw it happen. The dogs would be punished for various things. And what? What they were forced to do was is pull a sled. Francis made them be sled dogs. It was hard, very hard work, but most of the huskies that were doing it from the beginning thing of their life. They are used to not being fed very much. But Buck, he was used to the lifestyle of being free. 
So he wasn't used to sledding and being a sled dog. It was very tough work for him. They had to overcome many challenges. I forgot that. Such as bears. Wolves. And they are sledding was very tough. Buck had a very hard time and it was whipped pretty often. But he kept up the work. Eventually, he had new leaders. Oh wait. Stop that. Forget that. I forgot. I don't have it written down. I'm doing something else. There was a dog named Spit. He was a very powerful dog. He was more powerful than the other, and was pretty much their leader. Of course, the dog's power, but he was stronger than and most of the than the hunt. He was a very the strongest. Man. Ended already. Wait, Fit, you're way stronger than this. Up I up your staff so much. You just lost the hug. That was the worst staff in the But Teal could overpower him, too. Then. Buck, he wanted to stop it. And Spitz didn't really like him. He didn't like Spitz either. So he got in fights with Spitz. But he was a powerful dog, too. More powerful than Spitz. Prove that. Come on. Prove you powerful. When he became new leader. One time, they were out in the wilderness. And... Buck and Spit got into a fight. Buck was somewhat overpowering him. But... All of a sudden... A couple wolves came out and started fighting in Spitz and Buck. Buck managed to escape, and so is Spitz. They they were fighting but working together at the same time. The men thought that Buck killed him. Eventually, they got a new person in charge. <laughs> Their names were, were Hal and Charles. Charles was recognizable by his big, big Colt revolver. There. And Francis was apparent was said to be the main antagonist, which is pretty much the bad guy, and whipped them a lot. One of them ha was, had a wife whose name was Frances. The other, I mean, who had a, w had a wife named Mercedes. The other, er, er, what, Mercedes was is his, his sister. I forgot which one. I don't remember the book at all. Mercedes felt bad for the dog and snuck extra food, but that's not what they needed. They needed rest. They, one time they sledded all the way to a place they know known as John Thornton's camp. I need a map that's good enough.
Don Thornton and the boys talked for a little while. But... How kept whipping Buck because Buck wouldn't get up. Fight. And, and what's his name? John said if, if he'll kill him if he whips the dog one more time. He whipped him. John and gave him came out of nowhere and just scream like you know. I guess, I don't know. <laughs> and kick them right in the, in the face. And then, and Charles got back. And that's not how it's supposed to go. But Buck got him too. Mercedes is also came back. But he killed them all because they were mistreating the dog. The dogs who's helped of John against the men. And he was mistreating them. Because they didn't like him either. And eventually, they all lived in peace. Now, then, one time, they were together. <clears throat> I mean, John and Buck became best friends. It was the first time Buck ever felt in love. And they were they lived together. Until one day, John died. I don't re exactly remember how. I think these guys named the Yeehaw. The Yeehaw were tribal. I think they shot him or something. But they were just adventuring one time. And a bunch of the evil Yats came out of nowhere. Doing prayed. Buck came at him. Scared him a lot. Out of him. But they, he didn't do it in time. He scared him. He came right at him. Very mad. But John. Then, Buck went out in the wilderness, in the wild, and became a wild with dog. It was called by the wild. It was on many times. Took out on bears. On more. He took on more than that. He became more. The Call of the Wild. I hope you like my summary made tab. I spent a lot of time to get with all the these characters. Goodbye. See you in my next video.